Greetings boys and girls and we meet again on the topic of enzyme and today's topic is on the mechanism of enzyme action. The learning standard for today's lesson is to explain the mechanism of enzyme action using log and key hypothesis and the second one to interpret the energy diagram to explain the mechanism of enzyme action. First, what is enzyme? Enzyme is a complex protein that made up of polypeptide chains that are folded into three-dimensional structure. This three-dimensional structure has an active site that can complement a specific substrate. From the diagram, you can see that the enzyme is colored in green and the arrow showing the active site of the enzyme. Now, what is substrate? Substrate is a molecule that is able to bind at the active site of the enzyme. This substrate is the reactant that is catalyzed by a specific enzyme. The binding of the substrate molecule on the active site of the enzyme is specific, like a lock and key combination. The analogy for the lock and key combination is the lock represents the enzyme, whereas the key represents the substrate. So only specific key can fit into a specific enzyme. Now we go into detail on the lock and key mechanism which is known as the lock and key hypothesis. The first step is specific substrate will approach the enzyme and that specific substrate will bind at the active site of that enzyme. The binding of the substrate at the active site of the enzyme will form a structure that is known as enzyme substrate complex. Next, a reaction takes place to form products. Products then leave the active site after the reaction completes. The enzyme does not change its shape and it can be reused. Now, what is activation energy? Activation energy is the energy that is needed to break down the bond in the substrate molecule before reaction can occur. And the enzyme function is to lower the activation energy so that the rate of biochemical reaction will be faster. Now, look at the graph. The blue color line showing the reaction without enzyme. Whereas, the red color line showing the reaction with the presence of enzyme. As you can see, the activation energy without enzyme is higher compared to the activation energy with enzyme. 
This shows that the presence of enzyme will reduce the activation energy of a reaction. Does the reaction still occur without the presence of enzyme? Of course, but at a slower rate because it requires higher activation energy. That's all for today and for today's assignment, please refer to the log and key hypothesis assignment in your Google Classroom. Thank you.